beautiful day in the city of Lagos and you're watching Meet the Boss. I'm your host, William Suzamba, and today's edition promises to be very insightful. We are going to be talking about the technology space and we will be discussing with a very unique brand. Who might my guest be today, you might be wondering. Well, just sit back. After this timeout, I shall be unveiling today's guest. You're watching Meet the Boss. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, Meet the Boss, and I'm, I still remain your humble host, William Tzamba. And I did say after the short time out that we are in the tech space today, and interestingly, we're in the house of system specs. Today on the program, we're delighted to have with us the CEO of the wonderful brand known as System Specs in person of Mr. John Obaro. Sir, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. And thank you for having us in your wonderful, beautiful office, I must say. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Good. Now, sir, the name John Obaro is no strange name in the tech space in Nigeria and even outside the shores of Nigeria. But I always like starting the, my show with, um, with um, a brief intro, especially from the individual in focus. So, in your own words, how would you describe yourself to the viewers? Wow. That is a jump question. <laughs> I mean, um, I found myself, fortunately, in IT very early in the game. Mm. Um, I left the university about 40 years ago mm. with a degree in computer science. Okay. So that, if you call it an early mover and adva advantage, because it gave me an opportunity over time to see possibilities of what we can do with IT. And um, by God's grace, I also had very supportive people in my career. Mm -hmm. uh, spent the early part of my career uh, in the banking industry, yes, uh, banking. where I you know, understood a lot more of what can be done with IT. And um, about 27, 28 years ago, I left the banking industry uh, after about 10 years you know, to start off system specs. And God has been gracious to us. Uh, we supported a brand called Sun Systems. Okay. Uh, we developed our own product, Human Manager, and um, Renita. Yeah, and these have all been very successful products. So uh, today I lead System Specs. And um, I think that's just a brief summary of where we are. Fantastic, sir. Now, coming to that name, System Specs, um, I, I've been fortunate to talk to some other brands on the show, and I always want to tell, ask that question. What, what gave rise to the name? Was it just a random name or something triggered that name, System Specs? Can you um, shed some light on that? Like I said earlier, I was in the banking industry, and um, I was with IMB, defunct now, International Merchant Bank. Mm. That used to be the beautiful blue glass house by the sea. The sea, uh, the Babbage. The Babbage. And um, we were looking for a banking software, which turned out to be the first international banking software in Nigeria. And um, during that period, we engaged then Arthur Anderson okay. um, to help look for a solution. So when well, one of the trips to London, uh, we spoke to different software houses. Mm. By then, I started thinking that at some point I would need to exit the banking industry to set up something for my own. And the name I had in mind was actually FSS, ah. Financial Software Solutions. Solutions, okay. Okay. But I felt it was a mouthful. And um, I, I then said, okay, maybe something around systems. And one day I was walking in London, I can't remember what part of London, I saw the name of a company, Better Specs. It was mm. an optics center. Uh, and um, they said better specs. Okay. And then I said, okay, why not system specs? specs. So, as simple as that. Hmm. That's how uh, we came up with the name system. Very specs. unique. System specification. Exactly. <laughs> Very unique. I like that. Now, sir, 27 years and counting. Right. That's no, small, that's no small number of years. I mean, a child that is 27 years yeah. is due for marriage and what have you in the normal, that's normal environment. So. <laughs> I remember when we launched uh, our Remita mobile app, yes. and one of our staff then, you know, 
when she, I mean, she, she had a first class, you know, and was just about 22. Okay. And then when she had system specs, was 25 or there about then, she just screamed, oh, that means the company is older than me. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's why I said what I said. But sir, tell us, how has the journey been? 27 years and counting in a climate like Nigeria. How has the journey been? Overall, it's been fun. Mm. It's been challenging, no doubt. But uh, you learn lessons. You see different obstacles. But all thanks to God, when you overcome the obstacles, uh, you're able to look back uh, with delight that yeah. you overcame. Yeah. Uh, so many challenges which ordinarily you would think should be avoidable, but we've come to take them as part of life. Mm. Great, great. Now, so let's delve a little into the, the meat of the discussion, the business space, the business climate. I right. mean, time and again, statistics have shown that most startups don't outlive three, three to five years. They come, they stay three to five years, they die. How would you rate the business space, the SME business space, the business space as a whole yeah. in Nigeria? I mean... Somebody joked that many businesses don't go beyond two, three years uh, mm. because that's when the rent expires. Okay? Um, many people go into businesses without a long-term view. They go out of passion, uh, out of excitement of an idea which mm. is not well flocked at the mission because uh, you need you know, to go beyond the passion and the excitement to look at the numbers, the possibilities, yes. the realities of the challenges before you even start off the journey. Uh, many people don't do that. Mm. Many people are very theoretical. Uh, oh, I'll just do this and then I'll make uh, this one million sales here. Yeah? And um, so if you question many of those ideas mm. from the beginning, you will see that they're not going far. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, there are some that the ideas are good, the timing may be wrong. Mm. The environment may be wrong, and the truth is, the environment is generally very harsh. Yes. So you need to be made of double steel to be able to stand the test of time. Of time. Uh, and in the tech space, it's further compounded by the fact that a lot of things change. True. You know, uh, very frequently. So you are planning with one scenario. One of your assumption immediately changes, and the whole picture changes. New technology can come in and wipe you out. True. Um, so you need to be on top of the game to ensure that uh, you constantly correct uh, what was good yesterday, what gave you the victory of yesterday. Yes. Um, may well stand no chance today of a promise or for tomorrow. tomorrow. True. Uh, so um, many businesses can make do with a lot more desk plan before venturing into the field. Beautiful. Now, so let me come back to system specs. You talked about the fact that it's important to stay on top of your game, modern challenges. How has system specs been able to do that? And what really are your core areas of specializations for those who don't really, really know? Well, system specs is a software house. one thing has helped us, we've remained very focused. Uh, when I say software house, uh, I told you the first name we even wanted to come up with was financial software solutions. So we don't do everything IT. Mm. We don't do hardware, we don't do network, we don't do all, all the other works. We focus on software. And even within software, we don't do all software. We okay. focus on financial related software. Mm. So we're supporting um, a British product, now American, uh, accounting software. Okay. Then we developed a payroll and human resource software for the Nigerian environment. Uh, and then uh, we developed a payment system. Mm. Uh, so all within the financial space. space. So that, what may seem a narrow focus, has helped us because it has helped us to concentrate our skills and experiences and be the best where we are. Mm. And um, God has also been very fortunate to us because we, we, we've got 
some very good committed staff and um, a few of my staff have been with me for over 27, 40, 27, 28 wow. years. So wow. we, we have staff who've been very committed uh, and we've been able to develop a positive work environment. So our staff are excited about you know what they do. Yeah. And um, yeah, some have had to leave, mm, especially sure. you know, uh, for outside of the country. But um, when all of that was happening, it was painful, you know, to lose some of these key staff. Yeah. But again, we've been able to keep a very healthy relationship. Um, incidentally, um, one of them was here about a month ago. I mean, he has a PhD. He's now with IBM, okay. and came, you know, to take us through some new trends. Ah, great! You know, uh, great. Very deep things in modern technology. Oh. Uh, so we have that kind of relationship, relationship that even our ex-staff are able to come back and interact with interact you freely. And, uh, and that's great. That's great. Take us through. That's, that's great. That's why I'm, I'm very excited you talked about your staffs and the, 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 the viability they play in the growth of the business. Yeah. In, in, in another redirect way, what, how would you advise startups who or aspiring startup or business owners on the need to have a formidable team. What important role does that play in the success or growth of any business? Well, like I said earlier, um, mm. many businesses you know, should do with quite some homework before they get off mm. the board. Mm. And um, not everybody can lead an organization. Not everybody can run their own organization. So you, you, you need to be sure that you are called and capable you know, to venture into it. Otherwise, you may be better off working with other people, mm. teaming with other people, and then um, become an effective top-level manager within a successful enterprise, rather than necessarily going out to float your own signboard mm. that uh, will fizzle out after a few years. So the, the, you need to be sure of where you're going before you venture into the game. And um, for startups generally, uh, especially in my area in IT, you must bring something to the table. Yeah. Don't do what everybody is doing. I mean, if you're doing what everybody is doing, the best you will be is average. Is average. That's the best you will be. Mm. Okay. So you must look for something unique, something value adding, something really problem solving, mm. uh, and then excel in it and put your structures around it, and then you have a better chance of success. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, sir, speaking about putting your best foot out and, your, and, and, and creating a very unique product. Uh, after this break, we're about to go on the break. After this break, we'll come back and talk about one of your very recent products that is really doing well in the Nigerian eco space and how that came about and some other relative questions. Well, viewers, you're still watching the show, Meet the Boss, and you've had a lot of wonderful insight from my guest today, Mr. John Obaru, the CEO of System Specs. After this timeout, we'll return with some more questions for my guests before we wrap up today's event. Please don't go nowhere. You're still watching Meet the Boss, and we shall be right back. Welcome back to the show, Meet the Boss, and I still remain your host, William Suzamba. And I still have in-house with me today my guest, Mr. John Obaro of System Specs. And before the short break, we did hear some wonderful questions and answers about uh, starting up a business and what SME owners and other aspiring entrepreneurs need to know. So welcome back to the second phase of our interview today. Thanks, William. Now, before that break, I did mention that we'll look at one of your products that has been doing very well in the Nigerian eco space, and that is the Remeter solution. Now, sir, tell us a bit about this product, what gave back to it, and your present um, feeling as regards to how the product is doing in the market. Well, like I mentioned earlier, we were running um, mainly in the accounting and financial space. So we had mm. Sun Systems, 
And then we had um, human manager, yeah. which was a payroll and human resource platform. And then in those days, when you finish processing payroll, mm. you print a schedule on paper and send to different banks. Yes. Uh, and then we had an upgrade in technology. We were able to print it on a CD. I don't know if you remember those circular yes. CDs. Yes. So we print on a CD and sent to banks. Sent. And that was the innovation of those days. True. Um, but then, as technology evolved, uh, it became possible to communicate more directly with the banks. So we worked with another player, uh, an earlier player in the electronic payment space, mm -hmm. you know, to pass our transactions through them to the bank. And it turned out that the platform was not geared towards uh, what we call single debit, multiple credits mm. okay, uh, at that time. So we were always having challenges. And okay. then, you know, every problem you have, if you can solve it, it becomes a solution for other people. True. So we felt we should speak to that particular problem. Uh, and that's how we started thinking, getting into the electronic payment space. Mm -hmm. So we were able to craft Remita, and the product was actually ready before we found a name for it. Oh, So the, the, the product was ready, and um, one of my directors was actually out of the country. I think it was in Ireland. And we were speaking on the phone that uh, this thing that we've been trying to sell to customers, what do we even call, call it? it? Okay. Uh, and then we were brainstorming. And we said, okay, it's about remittance. So we said um, R E M I W T E R um, for remitter. Okay, no, we can make the name a little more sexy. Mm. We remove the double T, make it a single T, and then the E R make it an A. Mm. So that's how we came about with interesting remitter. <laughs> you know, and um, it was interesting years later on when uh, we had some controversy and people were even saying, oh, maybe the company belonged to a politician. And, <laughs> yes, um, I, I remember that period. It, it was all very funny <laughs> because uh, that's just how Remita came up. Came up. And incidentally, my staff, you know, that I said was in Ireland, his mm. name is Remy. Oh. Okay. My name is Tani. So people have also said this, Remy, Tani, Remita, you know, so... That's Which beautiful. We, that, that's that's really time. beautiful. That's good. That's a very good story. I, 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 you, see, you see why it's very important to talk to the boss. I didn't know the story, right. uh, but a very beautiful one indeed. Yeah. Now, sir. I'm not sure I answered the second part of your question. What yes, which is how, how, how do you feel seeing the way it, the product is doing yeah, so in the market? We, we started off, you know, um, like I said, mainly for remittance of salaries. Mm. And then we had a presentation to a multinational in Ikeja, other end of Lagos. And um, the Caucasian Executive Director of Finance yeah. and his team, they were all very excited. Oh, this, you know, will make life easy. easy. Then at the end, the man now said, ah, but come to think of it, if I'm doing my salaries in this efficient manner, what happens to my vendor payments? Mm. Uh, and then we said, well, that will still be manual. And ah. they said, ah, no, 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 no. That ah, uh, he can't be efficient on one arm. And this one is And then this one is still manual. Ah. That it means it will be run in two different systems. And that was how we lost the deal. Hmm. So you can imagine the longest trip on earth was from Ikeja back to our office on the island. Hmm. But that set us thinking. And that was how we now got into the vendor payment, vendor payment part of it. And that led yeah. to a totally comprehensive platform. platform. So today we remain the most comprehensive platform. We do the bulk payments, we do the single payments, single payments. we do the collections, and our collections is a single link to us. You're able to collect on all platforms. All platforms. Bank branch, POS, um, mobile, uh, card payments, mm. you can set up stand, standing orders, you know, diverse 
mm. um, options on a single platform. On a single platform. So it was that experience that pushed us that no, we shouldn't lose a deal again because we've not covered one leg. Mm. And so today, I mean, um, by the time you know we, we, the central bank was coming in for one of their periodic inspections mm. was when you know uh, conversations started on the things we were able to do and they started asking questions and that was how we got into the TSA, the TSA project, project. Uh, this was I think 2011 mm. okay. and then again as at that point in time there were just about two or three players in the electronic payment space mm. anyway mm. Uh, so it was relatively you know, a straightforward win, win. for us mm. and um, a lot has happened since, since then. then. Our focus had always been on the corporate world. Okay, so, but the government was, you know, beginning to think. Yeah. So, um, yes, we've done well in a number of states now, mm. and the federal government. Mm. Um, but that's not our focus. Our focus is mainly on the corporate and increasingly on the SME space. The SME space. Great, great. Now, sir, I want to believe it's not work, all work, work, work from, from you. I mean, even, bef even behind the camera before we started shooting, we had a, a number of chit-chat here. How do you relax? How do you relax? How do I relax? Yes. It has changed over time. Okay. okay? Um, my best relaxation of all times had always been chairs. Oh, chairs. And uh, at some point, I don't want to use the word that I was an addict. Okay, <laughs> uh, but to give you an idea, I mean, I have a friend who unfortunately, you know, had an accident oh. uh, some years ago, okay. I mean, uh, maybe almost 20 years now, okay. and so he became bedridden. Mm. Now he stays in Agbara, the other end of Lagos. I mean, well, in fact, he's actually a state. Yeah. And um, on a good day, you'll do two hours. Okay. Wow. Uh, on a bad day, you can do five hours. Wow. Okay? And for a period of like 13 years, mm. okay, if I'm in Lagos, almost every Saturday, I would wake up 5 a.m. to get to Agbara to make sure I have a good game of chess. Wow. So, um, <laughs> I've enjoyed that. That's beautiful. And um, I also walk. I like walking a lot. Okay. It's a good time to meditate to and meditate. reflect. Mm. And then um, just craft up mm. solutions. That's, that's beautiful. Who knows? Maybe one of these days you'll come, you'll come take some, some game of chess in my office. Well, like fri you, Fridays, we like playing. Did you say you want to take some beating or what did you say? <laughs> like that's that. That. I guess I, I, my, my, my colleague will watch this later, Uzo. He's, he's still the leading champ in the office. Okay, <laughs> our head okay. of sales and he's marketing. He's champion there. <laughs> okay, sir. Um, five years from now, where would you want to see the Remeter brand? The, the system specs brand as a whole. Five years from now. By God's grace, we would have done a lot more, especially in the African space. Mm. Um, five years from now is a long time. Um, how far we would have done outside Africa, I don't know. Mm. But clearly, Africa, uh, the way we're popular in Nigeria, we should have dominated Africa that same way. Be beautiful. And interest interesting you mentioned Nigeria. My last question will be, what's your take on Nigeria? How does the future look for us? We need to get some things right. Mm. Uh, there's got to be rule of law. Mm. Uh, if there's no rule of law, we would have a lot of short-term wins, and um, but it's not sustainable. Especially in our own space, mm. uh, you need to respect intellectual property. If you don't, you will have some short-term wins. But what happens is that you stifle creation, I mean creativity, yeah. and um, we become stunted. We will continue to depend more on people who can innovate and they won't be in Nigeria. Hmm. Beautiful. Well, sir, it's been great. I, I really need to thank, thank you, you very much, much for being on the show today. 
appreciate and it. the wonderful insights that you've given all through the discussion. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well, viewers, you've heard it all from the one and only John Obaru, the CEO of System Specs. What else can I say? He's, he's shared some very beautiful information that I personally believe will inspire a whole lot of people out there. Remember, you can watch today's episode of the program on our YouTube channel, CNTV. And until we come away some of the time on the program, Meet the Boss, I still remain your humble host, William Tuzumba, telling you to keep a positive mind, and as I always say, the sky might just be the beginning of your success. Bye, guys.